Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. I know we've kind of been away. It's been a series of ups and downs. As many of you know, and consolidated us, one of my dogs passed away. I had for 18 years, so that was a little rough, but we've had a lot of great opportunities come in over the last couple of weeks too. And I know everyone's been pushing, wanting to see getting another build. Everyone's getting sick of me sitting in front of my American flag and guns just making videos talking about building stuff. So everyone's like, let's get started building another thing. So we do have all that other stuff still in the works. It's going through permitting. This is one of the things we talked about. It takes forever down here to get anything approved. We're still pushing that. But in the meantime, we decided let's build something else. So we're gonna buy a 20 foot container today on this episode. We're gonna be able to see exactly how that process goes, how we're gonna ship it, all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. Gotcha. Multitasking. So we're gonna call one of our suppliers for shipping containers and see who can get us the best price on a double door 20 foot. We're definitely gonna do a high cube. Pretty much anything we build is gonna be high cube. Uh, we want that extra height uh, in flooring and ceiling. But uh, it also seemed like a good idea to film it in here because we have some stuff going on at the house and it was just too chaotic. So we figured we'd get better sound and I could put it on a uh, loudspeaker. Um, what, what container can I pick? Hey, um, I just wanted to see about getting uh, sh one of your shipping containers that I found on, uh, it was listed on your website. I need a 20 foot high cube double door. Uh, no, 20 high cube double door, 20 foot high cube double door in Miami, sorry for that. Uh, <coughs> only 20 foot double door. I'm sorry, what? No, 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 I think it's a different location, I think. Right, we see the location we have there. Sweet, thank you. So unfortunately, we don't sell uh, double door 20 or uh, high cube 20. Dang. Um, so I only want one shipping container. Uh, I'm going to have to reach out to my inventory department. Okay. And see what we have available. Maybe we'll get a price. We'll see if the price is good, but I already know what I'm willing to pay. So double doors are actually kind of difficult to find, but the price is usually considerably higher because it's a specialty uh, container. You can usually find a high cube 20 foot new container for around $2,900, but then you have to include shipping and no one is shipping these things because it takes like a semi truck in most cases. Uh, trucking companies are not moving them anywhere for under like five, $600. And if you're further out, it could be even more than that. So we just placed an order for a client of ours for 90 20 foot shipping containers and the shipping still with 90 containers was uh, $600 per container. But because we're buying so many containers, we can't, the shipping price virtually doesn't go down on volume because it still costs the same to move it from point A to point B and the trucking companies still have all the same wear and tear. Now where you might be able to get your price down based upon the volume is the cost of the containers themselves. But every single company I spoke to was like, yeah, the shipping doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're buying a hundred from us or if you're buying one, it's the same price uh, because that's not in our hands. That's the trucking companies. I don't know why people have such a difficult time driving. Quick change of wardrobe and we're back at it. We kind of cut from actually tr trying to purchase the, the uh, container and it turned out to be a lot more difficult than I expected. Usually we call up one of our suppliers or we have like three different companies we work through, you know, kind of shop the best price and boom, we're ready to go. In this case, it turned into a lot more of a hassle. I had to call way more companies. It was slim pickings on the containers. So we did finally secure, we wanted to find a new, since we did a, a used container on this one, we did find a new 20 foot container. However, we could not get a high cube. So uh, the, there was literally nothing anywhere around us. So we'd have to go to Texas to get it and the shipping was gonna be astronomical. So I did end up paying $2,800 or $2,900 for a 20 foot standard container, but it is brand new because we wanna show you a different way of insulating and framing on this build. Um, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we're gonna get started in T minus two days. Just remember guys, subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.